it's nice living down in Florida with the sunshine and it makes you feel better even if it's not. Approximately 40% of Florida's population lives along Interstate 4, which runs through the center of the state. This swing area tends to decide elections and has been hard hit by the economic downturn. We um, actually are in the process of um, kind of losing our house. <laughs> this is Susan Solney of the New York Times. And in conversations from Daytona Beach to Tampa in recent days, there seems to be little sense that politicians of either party are willing or able to alleviate the troubles plaguing the region. It's so overwhelming, honestly, to me, um, to even think about how the, um, the politicians can fix it. It just seems like a huge beast. Kate Freeman, along with her husband, spends her weekends selling homemade chili along the side of the road. She works as a teacher during the week, but it hasn't been enough. They are on the verge of losing their home. You know, knowing that somebody else is, is going to be buying it is, is still kind of, um, you know, it's heartbreaking. They bought the home in 2008 for over $200,000. It is worth approximately $80,000 today. I don't necessarily think it's a Republican thing and a Democrat thing. I think everybody kind of needs to collaborate together to, to try to solve the situation. Down the road is one of the most picturesque towns in the state, Celebration. It was developed by the Walt Disney Company, but economic trouble is easy to find even here. We're okay, but it's a little scary. You, don't, you just don't know what's going to happen. Retiree Patricia Griffith recently had her son, along with his wife and daughter, move back in with her after he lost his job and his own home. Mrs. Griffith's own neighborhood is far from untouched. There's still a lot of houses in our development that are in foreclosure, so you see that too, you know, they're just sitting there wasting. With unemployment above the national average in every major city along I-4, including Orlando, the partisan battles of Washington hardly seem relevant. For at least some of the patrons of Buck's gun rack, firmly in the Republican base, no candidate sticks out. I can't say I'm in love with these guys running, you know, I, but hey, you, you got to pick what you're, you've got thrown in front of you. Leon Kazanzas of Daytona Beach oh, yeah. isn't they're, planning to vote for President Obama, but isn't focused on drumming him out of office either. I'll probably just vote whoever ends up as a Republican. Now, I don't have a problem with Mr. Obama. The world didn't end. Hey, we're still buying guns, right? That he didn't shut that down. But he can call me Floridian because I've been here 20 years. Latino voters are an important group this year, but beyond Republican-dominated Cubans in Southern Florida, the Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, and others along I-4 are much more undecided. Rocio Arujo co-owns a hair salon outside Orlando. She hasn't seen Democrats change things. Well, it's hard to running a business. Mm -hmm. Well, we are, we are there pushing every day. But, so far at least, the Republicans haven't gotten her attention yet. Hispanic voters, the fastest growing group here, are focused as much on the economy as traditional issues like immigration. So, well, it's like, who is there, who, who, the Democrats or Republicans, where is good? Wow. But there are signs of optimism, however slight. Florida's overall unemployment rate has been slowly dropping since peaking in 2010, and in the town of Brandon, just outside Tampa, there are actually homes being built. At least our area right here, this, uh, th this pocket right here, seems to be uh, turning the corner. After Jarrett Rieger and his wife moved in in 2008, the developer promptly pulled out, leaving their neighborhood half-finished for years. The adjacent lot was going to be a park, and uh, that never happened. That was one of the promises that, that never was delivered. Today, things are looking up. A lot is sold, and it's my understanding in the next month or two, a new home will go up. I don't know if the, um, the temperament, if the mood is much improved uh, throughout the county. Um, I can tell you right now, in, in this area, this neighborhood, people are happy, but with unemployment rates very high, people getting laid off, uh, I think people are still very worried about the economy. It's that sort of optimism, much tempered, that marked many of the conversations here in recent days. Floridians are actively looking for ways to get out of the doldrums, 
but they seem to be waiting, in vain so far, for a political message from either party that really resonates. In fact, the only group that has grown in every county along I-4 since 2008 are independents. You know, we're on that uphill. We see that, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. United States of America, no matter what.